Sarah, open a new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Anyway, all mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are a bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 RCS thruster, but Jack and I managed. Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. Right. In you go, Jack. I'll see you in a few. Module D221, Manual Dexterity. I am Hera, Central AI for the Kronos 2 Orbital Mining Facility. I will guide you through this calibration program. First, close your hand to form a fist. Now extend your index finger. Good. To proceed, use your index finger to press the hollow button in front of you. Now reach out and grab the glowing disc that just appeared. When you are ready, throw the disc into the goal in front of you. Target hit. Excellent throw. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module M-101. Basic motor functions. Please pull the handle above you to exit the activation pod. This labor unit will guide you through the module. Now carefully follow it by pulling yourself through the environment using any solid surface. Please take your time and follow the guide. Now carefully pull yourself forward and release to glide to the exit. Calibration module complete. Module M205, maneuvering thrusters. Your hands are equipped with maneuvering thrusters, allowing you to move more freely in zero gravity. Activate left thruster. Activate right thruster. Now please exit the activation pod and use your maneuvering thrusters to reach the door ahead. Thrusters can be used in short bursts or held down for continuous usage. Please press the hollow button near the door to proceed. Good. Now navigate the environment using only your maneuvering thrusters. Do not grab any surfaces during this test. Calibration module complete. Module C-111, Communication. We will now calibrate your communication system. When someone speaks to you, a reply notification may appear above your wrist. 
You may then respond by holding down the dialogue button on either hand and selecting a reply with your index finger. Hold down the dialogue button now. Input confirmed. Now hold down the dialogue button and select a reply. Understood. Good. Continuing calibration. Often, you will have a limited time to select a reply. In these cases, silence is considered a viable option. Do you understand? Acknowledged. I'm ready to proceed. Understood. Continuing calibration. Now exit the activation pod and move into the room ahead. You can also initiate conversations at points of interest throughout the world. If you look at certain people or objects while you are close to them, their name will appear, and an icon will indicate that you can use the dialogue button. You may then hold down the dialogue button and select an option, just like a reply. Now start a conversation with the labor unit, and speak about the Fury transport model in this room. Unit 42, what is your primary directive? To assure the safety and well-being of Kronos 2 station personnel. Who serves aboard the Kronos 2 station? Captain Olivia Rhodes and you. The prototype Series 11 android designated as Echo 1. Please talk about the two points of interest in the room to continue. A Mark I Fury transport, 148th scale. Be advised, while real Fury transports can be used to travel to distant locations across the Kronos 2 station, I do not recommend attempting to ride this one. Noted. Communication system fully calibrated. Would you like to proceed to the next module? I'm ready to proceed. Acknowledged. Please stand by. Module A-131, Data Scanner. Error. Calibration program failure. Stand by for reboot. The directors have been pushing to make fully automated heat space mine the company's still priority. Your echo unit is a perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. Command wants the Echo Unit to assume your duties when you leave for Ceres. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, uh, I don't think... How long? Higher-ups have been discussing it for maybe six months. Six months? But the final decision didn't come down until late last week. No, forget it. This is unacceptable. Command's not really asking for your approval here. Tell Command to look at our numbers. Look at our harvest totals, purity levels. Our efficiency rating jumps three points every quarter. Command wants to see numbers like that on Ceres? I need Jack with me. <sighs> Still calling him Jack, huh? Well, what else would I call him? Look, I get it. You've been working with that particular unit a while. Okay, I see where this is going. But it's a machine. It doesn't actually care about you. Whatever attachment you think you have with it isn't real. It's all just algorithms and subroutines. This is different. Jack is different. Either way, it doesn't matter. Your orders stand. The Echo unit is to remain on the station. Understood? Just... hear me out. Is that understood, Captain Rhodes? Understood. Kronos 2 out. Jack? What happened? My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of Set. 
Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you earned yourself a promotion. The Directors want you to take over my duties as Station Commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Your swear count has not increased for nearly ten hours. Congratulations. Oh, quit playing with that damn thing. I mean... Shit. Never mind. Damn. Transitioning to daytime cycle. I'm really going to miss this part. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. This model is meant to depict an S-8 labor unit, is it not? That's right. Why? Is something wrong with it? No. I assume that its exaggerated proportions are meant to be humorous. Well, yes, but if you have to explain the joke, it, it kind of ruins it. I see. I will make note of this in my logs. Will you get a plaque to commemorate your own tenure as Captain Liv? What? Why would I get a plaque? The first captain of this station received one, and your performance has exceeded his by every metric. That's not really how it works, Jack, but I appreciate the sentiment. Why do you find these creatures appealing? Bulldogs are a symbol of the British spirit. We don't want to know when the odds are against us. Ah. Sounds familiar. Oh, shut up, Jack. So, Jack, I suppose congratulations are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo Unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? Please tell me you can see that. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. 
There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the... Jack, are you all right? I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. Awaiting input. Saturn Orbital Zone Beta. Orbital Mining Facility. Designation Kronos 2. Central Mining Station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait, we lost the cube sats? How the hell did we... Oh, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Module A. 131. Data scanner. Your scanning tool allows you to collect data on anything in the environment. Please exit the pod to begin calibrating it. Please follow me to the disk spawner at the back of the room. Now activate your scanner by pressing the button on top of your hand. Both of your hands have this functionality. Good. Now aim the scanner at the I.O. port on the disk spawner and hold the trigger to initiate a scan. After scanning something, its name will appear next to your hand on the scanner's data tab. To see the results of your scan, grasp the tab and pull it away from your hand. Pull the data tab now. Good. To complete this module, Gather scan data on five other materials or objects. Four scans remaining. Three scans remaining. Two scans remaining. One scan remaining. Initiating human sarcasm. I thought we were friends, Echo One. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? 
Paris scan of the anomaly will likely take some time. Perhaps we should get started on repairing those malfunctions. Good idea. That anomaly's certainly given us plenty to do. I count three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Did you throw that on purpose? Based on the wear of this brush head, you should have replaced it several days ago. Yes, thank you, Doug. Would you like to create a friendly care schedule for me while you're at it? Very stop. These are all items I have given to live. She appears to have kept them in excellent condition. Olivia and her family. She doesn't like to talk about this photo. These patches are from Liv's previous missions. Looks like she'll need a new plaque for the Kronos 2 mission. for this equipment once the station is fully automated. My own motor functions do not atrophy. Ready when you are. Come on then. Let's go sort out those malfunctions. Not the best way to start our last week. I don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. We've also never had an unidentified spatial anomaly suddenly appear directly off our port bow. It's a day of first, really. You do realize it's possible we just made a groundbreaking scientific discovery. Well, let's not go writing our Nobel acceptance speeches just yet. Well, at least, not until we're certain the station isn't going to fall apart. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption. Unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, 
We might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it will be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your ARM computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Let's get the cargo bay squared away. All right. One of the cargo banks must be malfunctioning. We probably blew a fuse. I'd start by checking the fuse compartment at each cargo bank. Hera, unlock them, please. Just don't pull any good fuses, or we'll have loads more cleanup to do. Current looks stable. Jack, that's not... Oh, now you did it. Oops. That was a good fuse, Jack. Put it back. I think I've located the problem. This fuse is blown. We'll need a replacement. Affirmative. Wait there, I'll bring you a new one from the supply drawers. This should do it. Thank you. Got you covered. Power flow restored. Maglocks coming online. Copy that. Go ahead and secure the cargo. Strong contact from the maglocks. That's one down. Liv, is this your EVA helmet? It's just a spare. Don't worry about it. I doubt I'll ever need it at this point. Very well. Unit 16, what is your current assignment? Current assignment. Separate Captain Rhodes' personal effects from Atlas Corporation property in preparation for her upcoming departure. Acknowledged. Carry on. Just one more to go. An early Christmas present. Who is this from? Titan Command Center. They send one to every officer assigned to a remote station. Why do they do that? To remind us of civilization, I suppose. Some people don't take well to the isolation. It can be taxing. I'm starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. Cargo secure. Let's lock the system down to make sure this doesn't happen again. I'll throw the lockdown lever. Lockdown engaged. Thanks, Jack. I feel better already. Let's move on, shall we? Well, there's still the temperature spike in core containment and the power failure in the oxygen garden. 
what's next on the agenda. Let's investigate the temperature spike in core containment. Okay, follow me. Find anything? Nothing conclusive. Your body is radiation hardened. Care to take a look inside? I'll see what I can ascertain. Hera, disable all containment safety protocols and unseal the hatch. Acknowledged. Awaiting manual operation. Head on in. I'll see you on the other side. You'll need to seal yourself in before we can expose the cause, Jack. I should finish calibrating my radiation shield before we continue. Acknowledged. Standing by. Module A, 251. Radiation shield. Your scanner can detect hazardous radiation fields capable of damaging you. Please activate your scanner and use it to assess the irradiated area ahead. Your scanner places tracking points that display the area's radiation level. When you are ready to proceed, please exit the activation pod. Your radiation shield will protect you for a limited time. A shield meter is located on both of your wrists below your arm computer. You can use this to monitor your shield levels. Now please use your scanner to find the least hazardous route through the room, and reach the exit. Higher levels of radiation will drain your shield faster. The radiation monitor on your wrist displays the radiation level of your current location. Please keep it in mind. If your shield is depleted, your body will suffer irreparable damage. Please be careful. You can draw energy from induction panels to replenish your radiation shield. This module will complete when your shield is fully recharged. Please pull the handle toward you to begin recharging. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Radiation shield fully operational. Copy that. Let's get started by opening the core enclosures. The code is 5826. Authorization accepted. Warning. Radiological activity detected. Well, that explains the temperature spike. At least one of the fusion cores is leaking radiation. Your scanner should help you zero in on the source. Nice shot. I'd say that warrants a closer look. I'll activate the I.O. port so you can scan it to open the enclosure. Enclosure unlocked. We need to scan the individual cores to determine which is causing the problem. Shields at 95%. Microfractures in the fuel assembly. Radiation at unsafe levels. That could contaminate the entire fuel reserve. We'll need to jettison the core. To unlock it, enter 6102 at the central console. Core released. Bring it to the disposal conduit at the bottom of the chamber. Once you open the conduit, you'll need to seat the core into the launch tube and use the lever to eject it. Keep an eye on your shield levels while you're in transit. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Radioactive material jettisoned. The area is still irradiated. There has to be another damaged core. Check the other enclosures. I'll keep looking. 
A second hotspot. I'm activating the I.O. port so you can check the enclosure. This core is similarly damaged. Bloody hell. It has to go. Punch in 7641 at the central console to unlock it. Same routine here. Run it to the disposal conduit and jettison the core. Emergency disposal conduit online. Fusion core marked for disposal. Stand by. Awaiting manual confirmation. Shields at 50%. Radioactive material jettisoned. Radiation levels returning to normal. Thank God for that. Looks like we live to fight another day. Let's shut the enclosure so we can get you out of there. Re-enter the code in the center console. 5826. Core containment re-engaged. Hmm. You're looking a bit worse for wear. Maybe you should use your arm computer to upload to another shell? Initiating manual reboot. Reboot initiated. I'll meet you on the other side, by the hatch. Hull fractures, multi-system failures. Glad to be out of there. I've always wondered, does that hurt? My diagnostic systems detect structural damage in real time. It isn't necessary for me to feel pain in an organic sense. Looking sharp, Jack. Did you get dolled up for me? I know you like it when I look my best. Such a gentleman. Chamber temperature is back within normal limits. Nice job in there, Jack. Thank you. Well, the power failure in the oxygen garden is all that's left. Follow me, Jack. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're gonna have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Module A, 901. Reactive Cutter. Please exit the activation pod and proceed to the door ahead. Activate your reactive cutter by pressing the glowing touch point on the underside of your wrist. 
highlighting cuttable surface. Use the reactive cutter to cut through the highlighted brackets. Please cut through the highlighted brackets to proceed. Cutter functionality test complete. Lift open the door to proceed. Highlighting cuttable surface. Use your reactive cutter to cut out a portion of the highlighted panel. Once you have cut away enough of the panel, press the hollow button to complete this calibration module. Calibration module complete. Please stand by. Module H-144, Helmet Visor. You can open and close your helmet visor by pressing the button on the left side of your helmet with your index finger. Please open your helmet visor now. Now please exit the activation pod and proceed to the room ahead. You can activate your headlamp by pressing a button on the right side of your helmet. Once your headlamp is on, shine it on my location. Well done. I am moving to new coordinates in the next room. Find me and shine your headlamp on my location. Excellent. Please press the button on the right side of your helmet to turn off the headlamp and complete the module. Calibration module complete. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Athena, bring up the next candidate, please. Echo program candidate number 37. Lieutenant Rhodes, Olivia J. Ah, uh, now this one's promising. Olivia, I've located the main space panel. Perfect. 16. Keep your light on it for a moment Temporary while I remove the cover. Engineering, geology, robotics. <laughs> Elite stuff. All the versatility you could want on an astronaut. Heads up, Jack. The US Coming had through. even approached it for the five years initiative, but she declined. I'm not interested in leaving the solar system, I guess. And a psych profile. She's right on the money. Took some prying, but the interview looks like we've got some fused wiring. Family. Status report. Brother. The short caused a full system crash. You can tell they were close. We'll need to reset each of the Probably environmental controls. Can you find the emergency the junction while I sort out this? That's just what we need for Echo One. She's perfect. I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready.
The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. Water flow restored. Irrigation system within operating parameters. Good. That should help keep the plants healthy. Use the junction to select one system. I'll need to cut the bolt off this cover, too. The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. The air composition needs to stay balanced, Jack. Bio-regenerative systems calibrated. CO2 capture optimized for both plant and mammalian passengers. Mammalian, huh? How flattering. Apologies, Liv. I didn't mean to sound... clinical. Once I'm gone, you'll probably be able to shut down this part of the room. I think I'll keep it, actually. To add color. Jack, you aren't starting to enjoy botany, are you? Yes. <laughs> A robot gardener. I guess the truth really is stranger than fiction. That's two down. Let's tackle the last system. The transformer can't form a complete circuit. We probably need to realign the coils. Run a scan to confirm. Conversion <laughs> coils unlocked. As long as we can still form one complete row, we should be able to get the transformer back online. Power current stabilized. Conversion process successful. Current strong. Nice job. Once I finish replacing these wires, we should be able to get the lights on. Hera, verify all oxygen garden subsystems. Subsystems within normal parameters. Right. I'm about done here. Do you see the access panel, nearly? I see the access panel. Good. You'll need to wait and throw the main breaker on my mark, got it? Acknowledged. I will await your command before throwing the breaker. Removing utility cover. Please stand by. I've got to pump the primer handle before you throw the breaker. Let me know when you're ready and I'll count us down. On your command. Acknowledged. Throw the switch in three, two, one. I'm clear. Oxygen garden operational. Environmental control systems restored. That's one more system we don't have to worry about. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't jinx it, Jack. There's no wood to look on around here. All right. That ought to do it. We're all set. Hey, Jack. High five. There you go. I appreciate the help, Jack. That's what I'm here for. And here I thought it was to keep me from going round the bend. I chose to abandon that directive some time ago. Shut up. That's not funny. Captain Rhodes, full spectrum scan of the anomaly is complete. All right, Hera. Push the results to the hollow table in the EVA staging area. Acknowledged. 
Come on, Jack. Let's go have a look at the results. Maybe we'll learn something useful about this anomaly of ours. That does seem likely, considering we currently know nothing at all. Hmm, suppose I can't argue with that.